views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Conscious Creation with actress, author, and healer, Dee Wallace. If you want to take charge of your life, really take charge of your life, the next hour will be a fun, enlightening experience in creating the life you want. Whether it's money, health, success, or relationships, join Dee in celebrating the power of you and see your life expand into joyful creation. And now, here's Dee. Hello, all you amazing, fabulous, incredible, magnificent, oh, so very loved and darn sexy people. Welcome back. Da, 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 da. I have a voice today. I always had a voice. It's just a little bit clearer and more powerful today now that I have decided to speak my truth. Uh-huh. So I'm inviting all of you today. Let's come together and speak our truth. All righty. Um, there's... <clears throat> There's a lot going on. Um, There's a lot of people making their transition. And there is just this challenging time now. And uh, I, just about everybody I talk to is experiencing it in one way or another. Um, Experiencing the challenge of staying balanced of um, creating and then feeling like we're back two years ago when we weren't so good at this conscious creation stuff. I want you all to know you're right where you should be, and I want to talk to you today about frequencies because it's come to my attention that a lot of you just do not understand what the full impact of what we're talking about here. Uh, Basically, you have to be the frequency of what you want. Now, what the heck does that mean, you ask me? Well, I'm going to tell you. That means that when you are the frequency of what you want, you're literally the frequency of the thing itself. And then the frequency of that thing within the universe can manifest itself and find you. Okay, so if if you're talking about angels and guides and everything, the closer the frequency you are to money or uh, divine relationships or success or um, health, and a healthy body, the more you're the frequency of that thing, the more that thing can manifest for you. What we've been doing in the old world, and that's really what we're looking at now, this this straddling that we're doing between the old world and the new world, and I'll go into that, but what we've done in the past, in the old world, is hope and hoping and dreaming and wishing and all that stuff. Um, we've been doing a lot of exercises and um, focusing a lot on what we want instead of matching our vibration to it. So when you are, again, the frequency of the thing, you are the thing. What is keeping most of us from living and being the frequency of the peace, the joy, the freedom, the ease, the effortlessness, the abundance that we want is this old, old belief that uh, in redemption this belief that we have to redeem ourselves or we have to earn it. Uh, That's kind of the highest phrase. I have to earn all my good. Ha! Well, that's interesting because I've been tracking this stuff 
uh, on myself with money. And it occurred to me, because I'm so conscious, because we do this work, that, you know, I'm doing a series right now, so I have a steady influx of nice money coming in. And it occurred to me that I'm not as excited as when I wonder if the money's going to come in. And if I can play the game of, wow, Dee, let's see how much you created for yourself this time. So that's an important thing for us to look at. That's, of course, a game that we would be playing with ourselves that's keeping us in that roller coaster of kind of fear slash excitement. Am I going to be able to handle this? Am I going to be able to do that? That's not where we want to live anymore. I don't think we want to live in the excitement of, wow, I always know I'm going to create enough because I am creating enough in this moment. So they want to invite us today to make everything a joyful choice instead of something you have to do. So I make it a joyful choice to live in the frequency of love because when we are the frequency of love, we are the frequency that everything is made up of. Is there any way higher statement? Nope. That's the highest statement. When we literally are the frequency of love, we are the frequency of the manifestation of everything. Is that too simple for you to buy? Huh? Can you get how important self-love is then? And literally, this is the sentence that they gave me. Stuff will still happen, but not to us. Because we will be in the world, but not of it. That's what uh, Abraham Hicks refers to all the time. When they say, you know, just because there's an earthquake, it doesn't have to affect you. It can literally go around your house. Okay, so they want us to claim, <clears throat> what are we claiming this around? Oh, okay. Core Belief 15, which is on the sheets, uh, which comes with a balanced podcast. <laughs> I get emails every week. Okay. We're going to bring into balance all physical imbalances in the body. Anything creating imbalance in our definition of happiness from genetic balance. So genetic balance is any and all ideas, <clears throat> belief systems, perceptions that were passed down to you that are keeping you from your definition of happiness and creating any kind of physical imbalance in the body. So we are so directing that now. I am the frequency of love. I am the frequency of home. I am in balance. I am the frequency of love, which is the frequency of health. And so it is. Any other words I have to say? Okay, so hopefully you all did that with me. Um, they were, would like us to come forward and claim, I know what I want and I am creating it right now. So around being the frequency of love and being the frequency of self-love, we are all claiming in the ionosphere and beyond, I am creation. I am the frequency of the balance of choice and creation in the radiation of my light. And I am the electrical charge of the electromagnetic hole within the hole. I am the charge that creates. I am the power that chooses love and joy in every moment. My heart is open. I claim this for all energy and all dimensions integrated into my divine self and all 
plane and time continuums. And so it is. Okay. Is there something else? No. Uh, that all came in about five minutes before we started the show. Our next webinar is going to be covering a lot of this because I, I want to know everything, understand everything, bring everything into the balance. So we literally um, hokey pokey ourselves into the new world. So it's going to deal on the new world and the old belief for redemption, August 18th from 7 to 9. If you are intending to do Creation Station 2, I have to hear from you by next Tuesday. And I'm going to take this opportunity again to invite you to purchase the Four Cornerstones package if you are truly wanting to ingrain yourself in the simplest way to always bring yourself back and stop straddling the new world. Okay, now, <clears throat> when I was doing a private, somebody said to me, um, we were talking about the Four Cornerstones package, and she said, you know, Dee, why do I, and here's the straddling again, why do I go, gosh, I really want to get it. No, it's just another product that somebody's offering. And I think that's a really good question. So we're hearing our divine hit, and we're questioning it. And that, well, in, in a nutshell, that's the four cornerstones itself. Uh, to have a hit about something in your life and not follow through and keep questioning yourself, is that loving yourself? Is that loving and trusting all energy? Are you staying in the moment of the divine hit that you got? Or are you going to the past and the future? Do you remember that you are the creator of yourself? And from now on, if somebody uses the word God and that plugs you in because it has a lot of history um, ancestrally and worldly, lifetimes wise, use the word love, guys. The frequency of love is the frequency of God, is the frequency of the whole brain. And so it is. If you want to talk to me, press 1, or we will not know that you are on the line, and we will not know that you would like to talk. So I think we're going to start today with Catherine in San Francisco. Hi, honey. You're on. Hi. Hi. What's up? Um, I am trying to create a lot of things at the same time at a new place. So Okay, well stop trying first of all. I want True. You to, I want you to look at your words because trying to create something is not creating it. Right. And the right. words and the thoughts and the frequency has to come first. So I am I am creating a lot of new things okay at work. Now my pendulum goes to know when you say a lot of new things. It's really they want you to know about one thing. And the okay. last word they're giving me is harmony. Uh-huh. So talk to me about that. Talk to me about you being in harmony at this new place. Talk to you about it? Yeah. What comes well, up when I say... Harmony, I think of relationships first. Well, yes, but guys, I want to remind you, and you're in relationship to everything. You have a relationship with your body. You have a relationship with money. You have a relationship with your own personality. And right. that's where they want you to focus the most. What is it within you, Catherine, that you need to bring into harmony that will create all these things that you are looking at? Mm-hmm. Uh, but give me a song, any song. Zippity doo dah. Okay. Um, that's the highest word. Fun is the highest word. 
So would you say that you were having fun creating all these things? Um, I have. It's easy for me to have fun meeting people, that part of it, but I don't have fun creating work. So I would have to, I need to have fun creating career. You bet. Because... I, I, yeah. Fun and joy and love create that's what creates guys. Those are the vibrations that create. So they would like to give you one more piece of information because it's kind of a genetic thing that's been passed down to you. Uh huh. Uh so we're going to a core belief. Now genetics, remember according to my channel, is an idea that we've all come together to agree on this page here i don't think i have enough energy to do this really the highest words are i don't think i am enough energy to do this so if you knew that you couldn't do anything wrong and you had all the energy and the whole universe was going to respond to you you'd be having a lot more fun wouldn't you yes okay that's the thing they want you to bring into harmony, and they're talking to absolutely everybody. Right. If we want our creation to manifest, we got to start having a lot more fun knowing that we can do it because, they're again, they're showing me the straddling between the old world and the new world. The old world being um, it's a lot of trouble. It takes a lot of time. Right. Oh, you know, it's hard. I've got to really work at it. And the yeah. new world, which is just ease and effortless and joy and smooth sailing. So let's all come together to claim I am the harmony. I am literally the frequency of the harmony of joy and fun. That feels great to me. I sure need more of that, too. <laughs> okay. So that resonates with you, Catherine? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now you're going to go do it, right? You're not just going to hear the words and get the answer and then not shift physically. Right. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful start to the show. Thanks for calling in, baby. Thanks. I, I saw you last night on Murder, She Wrote. That's the... Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> that's, that would, that's got to be an oldie but a goldie. Yeah, yeah. I, on net, they're on Netflix. And I oh like wow! Yeah, them. those were great shows. I I did one or two every single season. Yeah, when that yeah. show was on. So well, thanks for that trip down memory lane. And then I saw. And then you came on today, so it was funny. And then I so. Well, you're, we're meant to be together, Catherine. That's exactly. what there is to it. Thanks for calling, <laughs> baby. Bye -bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. And we're going to go to Nathaniel in New York. Hi, honey. Hi, G. How's it going? Good. Um, I was curious about asking the channel about my career and, you know, what what would be – I don't know if the channel had anything to say about that. I kind of uh, – Well, be more specific. I um, want to know why what. Uh, I want to know what's keeping me between – the the better the better the the greater or greatest vision that I have for myself and and then my reality of things you know which are not that well because you're not the frequency because I'm going to keep on on track here with what we right. talked about you're not holding the frequency of your greater vision you're going well this is where I am so I can't hold the greater vision and the frequency of the greater vision. Yeah. See, that's that's the enigma, uh, guys, and they're saying that that has a lot to do with this redemption thing, that we're just not allowing ourselves to experience our awesomeness right. because we think we have to earn our self-worth. Yeah. And, and to redeem ourselves. And they, they're they saying the only thing you have to redeem is the golden ticket that they're giving you access to. But, again, we have to do it. <laughs> right, so, right. You know, you know what's crazy is uh, I love that scene in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where, you know, he, he finds the golden ticket, and it just means, 
like every single change for the better, or, you know, you have this amazing opportunity, uh, or, you know, that, that's coming your way. And, uh, I, I would, so, I would often think of that, that, that move, that part in the movie. It's just such an a, amazing, amazing, uh, I guess, symbol for me, you know? Okay. But you see, that's, what's throwing you off. Yeah. Because it's not the golden ticket. You're the golden ticket. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you're not quite grasping that. So yeah. can you give yourself this joy and frequency of love and be that so that you can literally be the golden ticket? And then, guys, on this plane, you have to take action. Right. You have to put it out there. Right. I mean, uh, it's interesting because I'm, I'm watching... I'm immersed in it, and I'm objective about it almost at the same time. This journey that I'm taking with my little bear, which I'm happy right. to announce to everyone, will be available now in September for you to order. And wow. I'm, I'm going to ask the entire world, and okay. I'm going to be the frequency that the entire world wants to work with and create with to get this bear, because I know that when we teach ourselves to love ourselves in our core, the entire world changes. Right. And that's exactly what you're talking about. You know, the good thing about the golden ticket is that it gave him hope. Well, yes, that's true. But the, like, yeah. but the message, Nathaniel, the message of the movie was because of his innocence and purity, right. he was the golden ticket. Yeah. And that's what won him the prize, not the ticket. Right, right. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Right, because Gene Wilder looks over and he, say, he says, oh, you didn't, you didn't give the secrets to Slugworth, you know? And uh, he's like, uh, oh, right, because he gives it back to him. He gives him back that God stopper. It says, here, I, I didn't give this to him. <laughs> well, and that speaks yeah. to integrity. Yeah. Right? So yeah. he was literally being the frequency right. that created him living his dream. Right. You understand? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, get busy then, dude. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> Love you, Annie. Thank you. Bye. You too. Susan, we haven't spoken in a long time. What's up, honey? Hi. I can't, I was talk, I didn't I wasn't going to call in except when you started talking about frequency and uh things that old beliefs. I just it dawned on me that I've always had these allergies like, you know, for not really hay fever, but you know when when the flowers start blooming and all that. Um which also my father and, you know, down the line of my family have. Okay, and let me speak about allergies for a minute. Allergies are misdirected energies. Okay. So they're, they're literally your own energy that is not in harmony with the rest of your energy. So let's see for you the basis of this allergy because it's literally a genetic core belief if everybody's passed it down. But give me a song, any song. Um, row, row, row your boat. Okay. So it's the same thing over and over and over. The highest word they're giving me right now is monotony. Now we're going to a core belief here, here. I don't know what I want, so I give up trying. They're going to change some of those words. I know what I want, but I give up trying. It's the part of you and them that have been passed down, the part of us that goes, you know, I know what I want, but I'm just, I just give up. I'm too tired. I'm not going to try to do it anymore. And that's the basis of your allergies and many allergies, they're saying, is um, um, when we give up our dream or we're afraid our dream isn't going to happen or we kid ourselves and go, well, I'm just too tired. I'm not going to do it. 
is the that makes a lot of sense. That does it good. Well, wow, it makes you know, a lot of sense. You know, Susan, you sound entirely different to me than you have ever sounded before. In what way? Um, more grounded, more powerful. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'm asking, are you feeling that way about yourself? Um, that you have well, your been, life more in control and you know you're in control of it? I've been I've been contemplating a lot of different decisions that I have that I can make right now because of things that I've wanted to do from, you know, a long time ago, things that I wanted to accomplish during my life. Yeah, well, and, there's your allergies, see. Yeah, and then that's why I said it makes a lot of sense because yep. one of the things that I've wanted to accomplish was like world travel. I'm I'm kind of a wanderlust. I don't like staying in one place too long. And one of the things that, you know, was offered me was this $30,000 loan to, you know, fix up my house with the condition I live in it for the next 10 years. I'm 64. That means I'd be 74 b- before I could venture out. No, that so, doesn't mean that at all. That, that means that's, that's what that it felt like. You would have well, but you see, you allowed the perspective of yours to be negative instead of positive. You see, for me, that would be a real positive. Oh, great! I've I've got my home. I know I can stay here. I've got a base, and then I can venture out into a lot of adventure and always come back. Yeah, I didn't so, see it that way. Yeah, well, that's why I, I'm saying yeah. to you, if you stopped, if you had stopped and done the four corners fence, is I the thought of, yet. oh, my God, I'm going to be trapped here, a loving thought towards yourself? Come on, that's easy. Yes or no? That's not a loving thought. No. Towards myself. It, and it's it, certainly it, not trusting all other energy. And it's certainly not living in the moment because you're going, oh, my God, I'm looking at, you know, 10 years down the line. And right. I'm never going to be able to leave. Oh, my God. And that puts me in That's, fear from the past. You, you see, I understand. they give you the most brilliant tool to to bring yourself into balance and focus in every moment, you guys have to get busy using it now. They're saying, if you don't use some of the tools we've given you, we're just not going to bring them anymore, like the red dot exercise and sending love for no reason. Because yeah. now this this year we understand why love is so important. It's the frequency of everything. They're bringing all the science and spirituality together for you. Okay. Yeah, All the right, other darling. thing, though, the other thing, can I say one thing more? Yes. The other thing that I was thinking is uh, one of the things about my house that I don't like is the fact that it, I have so many staircases that go up and down. And my, it's not about that. It's, it's not about that, that it hurts to go up and down the hair stairs with my legs the way they are? Well, yes, it's not about the staircases, but it's about your legs. It's about my legs. Okay. And what do, our, what do our legs represent? Stepping out into our power. And what are you talking about? Stepping out into Stepping your out power. Into my power. It's beautiful when you really get how it all connects together. All right, sweetheart. Thanks for calling in. It's good to hear from Thank you again, you. Susan. Bye. And we are going to Miss Paula in Los Angeles. Hi, honey. You're on the air. Hey, Dee. Hi. What a pleasure. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> oh, everything? <laughs> um, I'm really excited about your bear. I, Me I think, too. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I'm really excited. It's just like something I really connect to. Um, I guess my question is, uh, hmm, am I on the right track? <laughs> um. That is the right question, and absolutely. Cool. You know, All right. Um, again, they're underlining this um, joy and fun and love. Joy yep. would be the highest word for you. So the more you hold yourself in the frequency of joy and love, 
the the better the path unfolds. Okay. So don't take the path, guys, to get to the joy and the love. Do you understand? You you create the frequency, which is why they taught us how to go to our love place that we can p- pull up instantaneously. You are the path. You are the frequency. And you have to hold the joy and the love while the manifestation of the things that you're asking for come forward to match that. Do you understand? I believe so, yes. Okay. So if I want to be, if I want more happy, I choose to be the frequency of happiness. And then that frequency of happiness, whether it's money or success or a relationship, will be able to find me and match up with me because they will identify that I'm the frequency of it. Yeah. You got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, that's the highest piece of information they want to give you, baby. Right on. Okay. Go get it. Go be okay, happy. Okay. Thank you. Because I'm happy. Da, 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 da. Helen in Phoenix, you're up. What's on? What's up, baby? Hi. Um, I don't have a question. I just want to thank you very much. Um, back in February, I got laid off from my job that I had for 20 years, and I'm okay with it. And now I'm on a new path going to school for medical billing and coding. So I just want to let everybody know that it, it does work, and um, I'm in a happy place. So I right. want to thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah, thank you for sure. that, Helen. And, and they're, they're giving me the line, when one door closes, another one opens. But right. you've got to be looking for the open door. If you're right. not looking for it, you walk by it and you go, well, there aren't any doors open to me. Right. Right? Yeah. So yeah. you basically, you know, you turn around and go, okay, where can I create from the point I'm at? Where can I create right. from the point I'm at? Right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Wow. Thanks for calling in and letting us know. And congratulations for walking Thank the you. talk, baby Kate. You're welcome. Thank you. Take it easy. Thank you. All right. We are going to Chris in Tennessee. Hi. Up. Hi, Dee. Goodness. How's Great. it going? Good. Good. How's the baby? Um, Baby's amazing. Yeah. Can we all be in a, as amazing as a newborn baby? Yeah, I can feel into that because I love him so much. What's your question, babe? Um, well, my question is um, I'm feeling extremely challenged in my relationship right now. And uh, to the point of I don't know if we're even going to stay together. It's that bad. Okay, well, take a break. And I'm horrified at the thought of, you know, having to basically, like, be separate and co-parent this child, which I never, ever in a million years wanted to do that. Okay, well, let's... But let's, basically, uh, let Chris. my partner basically told me that she doesn't find me attractive anymore in that. I don't know if we're going to be together, and I... I, I can't. I don't know what to do. You know. Well, first of all, you have to unplug. So I want you to take some deep breaths. Is Vicky there with you? Uh, no, she's not. I don't know if she's on the call or not. You know, if you two are willing, um, I would love to talk to you together sometime yeah well i would too but um well i've talked to her about oh chris you see you can't get answers when you're in so much reaction so can you make yourself start laughing for me please just choose to do it just laugh even if it's fake, just laugh. <laughs> and come on, I'll do it with you. <laughs> Good. Okay, now you're unplugged. All right, so uh, they want to get to the core, to give you the core of what this is. Sheets. Give me a song, please. Chris? 
Chris? Yeah, I'm waiting. <sighs> what a lovely day. What a, oh, what a lovely day? Yeah. Okay. Boy, you know, I know you guys get tired of hearing the same message, but they're going to keep doing it until we start living it. Right now, you are not having a lovely day. Is that true? Chris? Well, I'm trying, you know, Just yes I'm doing no. my best right to now, stay centered. And a loving day. No, I'm not. Okay. And I haven't been having a lovely day for the past three days. And before that, everything was great. Yes, but what the lesson in this for you, sweetheart, is not to be dependent on anything outside of you to create a lovely day. Now, I know that that means I, I'm giving everybody a huge challenge. I'm, they're kind of throwing down the gauntlet here. And going, okay, are you are you going to be able to get the importance of always bringing yourself back to the frequency of love? Whether the things that are going on in your life give you a reason to do that. I don't want to deal with this now. I just want everything to be awesome. That's what I want in my relationship and in every aspect of my life. Well, I don't yeah. want to be challenged. I'm sorry I don't. I don't want to be challenged in my relationship, okay? And I get a yes on that. So then, well, that's the highest question. So then why are you? are we creating challenge. If we don't want to be challenged anymore, why are we creating challenge? That's where we're going. So everybody take a breath because we're being taught another lesson here. Another pearl of wisdom are the words. So it's about redemption. So I want to ask what Chris feels that he needs to be redeemed for. Sheets. Give me a song, baby. All I could think of is this the theme song from the Partridge family. From the Partridge family. Do you do you remember how it goes? But you see the Partridge family that's the highest word. It was all about innocence. And now they want to talk to you about your definition of innocence. And when, guys, you know what his is ours. So this is a big breakthrough for all of us when we get to this. So our definition of innocence has always been um, well, nothing bad's going to happen. I'm an innocent. So nothing bad's going to happen. And since we're on the theme here of new babies, they're saying, you know, new babies get colic. They get diarrhea. They get indigestion. Um, they feel like they're alone. They get scared. Things happen. But the innocence is the part that knows they will always be taken care of. And that is the part of you that you need to balance with the frequency of self-love, sweetheart. Is knowing that Chris will always be taken care of by the universe and by the universe of himself. 
Now, I think, boy, we don't usually do this on the show. I think scrolling down, I think Vicky's on the line. So I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to go talk to her. And I okay. want to see if I can at least help the two of you come together in discussion. So, uh, But please get the information that they gave you, which is to bring into balance and be the frequency of knowing that Chris is always taken care of. Okay? All right. Hang on. Of course, I have no idea if Miss Vicky wants um Hello, darling. Do you want to participate here or not? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> well, no, you don't. You certainly don't have to, Vicky. Yeah. I, I'm happy to work with the two of you, you know, together off the line. Uh huh. If you'd prefer. But they're saying no pressure. They're saying this is going to serve a lot of people. Yeah. What the heck? Okay. Okay. So. You talk, and I'll hear the words where we want to go. Um, you know, I love I love um, Chris very, very much, um, and I'm just I'm feeling a little unsupported in this relationship in some ways, and that's and I just uh, it's probably me just need to support myself more. Usually, what it comes um, down to. Well, that's a yes on everybody. Yeah. Um, You know, and the beauty of the new world is that everybody supports themselves and Mm -hmm. then comes together in total support of each other. And that's what you guys are playing out right now. Mm -hmm. Now, Vicki, I also want to say to you, Mm -hmm. That the first word they gave me when Chris Mm -hmm. made his statement was hormones. Uh Uh-huh. So you might want to have your hormones checked. Probably. (laughs) Well, uh, I had a... uh, They're they're saying it's not postpartum depression. No. But your hormones are... Can. Well, okay, are. Physically... Um, making mountains out of molehills sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a horrible case of postpartum depression. Mm. It's the closest thing to hell I ever wanted to be at. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. But it's not that far with you, but hormones can definitely create the world. They affect your adrenals, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is fight or flight. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, what could Chris do to support you more? Um, I think just be more present and, and be more um, like when when he's physically present, be mentally present, emotionally present. And how do you experience him not doing that? Oh, just just kind of like present, but he's physically here but then like maybe he's on the phone or thinking of on the computer or maybe thinking about something else it's like okay, conversations he, not connecting you know like that's okay the that's connection. the that's the word i was looking for yeah you guys have lost your connection yeah and you've lost your connection because you both lost your connection within yourself yeah makes sense okay so you both have to reconnect Mm-hmm. with this self-love for yourself. Um, yeah. Is it true that he's focused on making money for the family? Uh, yeah, I think that he's he's working on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you know that if you truly connect with the frequency of love, can you understand that that... Um, that creates that what he's doing creates a connection for you and the baby. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. And then Chris, I know you're still uh, on the on the show. What what she's saying is she needs a balance 
so that the lines are more clearly drawn, so that this is my time for work, and now I'm taking a totally focused and connected time with Vicki and the baby. Um, when I had Gabrielle and I w- was working, uh, literally, uh, I came up kind of um, within the si- same situation, but it was with myself, Vicki. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, sh- and I was feeling a lot of guilt, and she said, Dee, it's because you're never, and here we go, I'm, I, I just got chills all over my body. You're in both worlds at the same time all the time. Yeah. You have to be clear that when you're at work, you're at work. And when you spend time with the baby, even if it's five minutes or ten minutes, you are totally focused and present in that time with the baby. Mm -hmm. And then you will not feel so guilty because you will feel and experience the connection. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, what? yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we've at least opened up a dialogue here. I think so. Where we That's can start looking at a solution around mm-hmm. what you want in holding this frequency of love. And, uh, again, it would be my great pleasure to gift you guys a half hour if you want to come on at the same time and talk about this. Off the oh. show. Okay. Thank you, Dee. Oh, thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. Amazing. You just let me know. Okay. All right. All right. I love you, Dee. Have I a love you day. too. You Aww. too. Bye bye. Okay. So, again, those were amazing lessons for all of us guys. Where is the yes? And and first of all, where's the part in me that I have to connect to? So let's all take a moment and claim that I am connected to the totality of my beingness, that I feel, experience, and live the connection to the God I am. I am the God which is, and so it is. Wow, that was, thank you both for trusting this community and each other and me enough to walk forward with that. Jereen in South Dakota. Hi, honey, you're on. Hi. Hi. Oh, I love this work. I love this work, and I've shared it with my sister. So I'm seeing if I've uh, we've created a hospital job or a retail job, and then she also has a rash. <laughs> okay, so you haven't created it if you're asking me if you've created oh, it. Got it. Okay. That's the only – you see, that's the doubt, okay. guys, and that's when we straddle the old world with the new world. As soon as you have doubt, see, we don't ever doubt anything negative. We we only doubt the positive. Okay. So the doubt, you can't, your brain can't hold the place of doubt and the place of knowing at the same time, can it? No. No. So when you go to order dinner, Jereen, you don't go, wow, I wonder if the dinner is coming, do you? No. Okay, so the answer to your question is, yes, you've created it as soon as you know you have. Okay. Okay, so back to the four cornerstones. Is it more loving to know that you have and trust yourself, or is it more loving to keep yourself in doubt? Loving. Of course, and knowing. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest to you, that you get up every morning around this this creation ability that you have and make sure that you direct your horror line to be straight, strong, and through the ID point. You will feel a subtle difference in your knowing when you do that. Okay. okay. Now, the rash has to do with the part of her that is pissed off and erupting that she is allowing to disseminate now. Guys, whatever our core thing is, and I've shared a lot of personal stuff with you over the last three weeks, 
about um, false perceptions of people not being on my side and not being there to work with me and everything on the set. All those things we are demanding of ourselves to look at right now. And so they've got to come up and they've got to be released. Okay. Okay. So the rash is her anger around her not knowing. All right. Uh, I would like you to get back to me, Jereen, because it okay. should clear up. Okay. Um, start to clear up in about a week. I'm not a doctor. I have to state okay. that on the show. Everything I'm giving you is energetic. Okay. But if she really focuses on bringing herself into the frequency of love around her knowing okay. that she is the creator, the rest should subside. Thank you. Yep. Is there anything higher? Nope, that's it, baby. Thanks for calling in. And I love this work, too, and I love you. Thank you. Love you. Bye. All right, we're going to Mike in Connecticut. Hi, you're on. Hi. Um, can you hear me? I can, honey. Outstanding. What do I need to bring into harmony in myself? Or better yet, what is the highest question I could ask about this? You know, Mike, I think what they're saying to me is you need to tell him he asks this over and over again. So I believe what we're going to with you is your knowing. Because okay. until you truly know that you are the creator of you, you will keep asking the same questions to keep yourself in doubt. I, They, through me, have told you the highest thing that you need to know, which is that you are the frequency of love that creates everything. We all know what we want, guys. We want to be happy, joyful. We want healthy bodies. We want lots of money flow. We want beautiful divine relationships in our life. We want to feel good about ourselves. Uh, we want freedom. We know what we want. So feel the frequency of love around all of that and then go create specifically what you want because it's the same thing. Do you understand the frequency of money is the frequency of love? The frequency of relationships is the frequency of love. The frequency of success is the frequency of love. The frequency of a healthy body is the frequency of love. But you must bring yourself into that frequency. So whatever you do that creates you increasing your feeling of love, is the answer to your question, Mike. That you got it? That is very useful. Thank you. Yes, you bet. thank you. Good question. Thank you. Uh, I would like to take one more caller, but we're going to be over time if I do. Boy, I tried to go so quickly, but we did some good work for a lot of people, including ourselves here today. If If there's a theme, it's, again, about being the frequency of everything, being as a little child, knowing you are taken care of because you have directed it that way. Direct your life, guys. Get up every day and direct your day and then say, now all energy, come in and support me and play with me and create with me. Let's go. And then joyfully take yourselves out into the world. Please join me uh, for our next webinar, August 18th, uh, all about the new world and redemption. Uh, you know, we, just as soon as I claimed what it is, you saw all the information coming in today around it. Um, until we meet again, love yourselves, love yourselves, and love yourselves more because you know that's what it's all about. Thanks for joining Dee on Conscious Creation. Visit her website at imdwallace.com for awesome downloads, archived shows, enlightening webinars, and amazing free offerings. Be sure to join us next week for Conscious Creation with Dee Wallace. And remember, loving yourself is the key to creation. Creation.